Hey guys, it's me again, Flo. One of the frequently asked questions I get on this channel is about my pots. Flo, what kind of pot do you use? What brand of pot do you use? How do you keep your pot so clean? How come your pot doesn't burn? I've seen you using this pot since 2011, yet it still looks like new after five years. <laughs> The tip I can give you or one thing I can tell you is that the brand does not matter. What matters is the material the pot is made of. I always advise that for cooking Nigerian food you need original stainless steel pot. Yes, there's this pot in Nigeria. They have this stainless steel stamped on it but we all know that that's not stainless steel that's aluminum pot that pot is also good for cooking nigerian food but when you want to buy stainless steel pots make sure that you buy original because if you don't buy original stainless steel whatever you're cooking will always burn all those pots that look beautiful with flowers enamel pots um i don't know there there's this one that is golden pot Forget it, they look good, fine, but if you want to prepare Nigerian food, especially all our one pot recipes, you need original stainless steel pot. I bought these ones from outside Nigeria because I looked online on the most popular Nigerian websites and all I could find were these pots that look like stainless steel, but they are not original stainless steel. I mean, they shine, look silver like this, but they are not original. They are made of thin material, the fake shine makes your food burn very easily. You can see the inside of the pot. It's not too shiny. It does not have any coating whatsoever. All those fancy flowered pots or enamel pots you see in the shops or on, in online shops or in the market, they look good, fine, but they are not good for cooking Nigerian food. Trust me, I've tried those enamel pots. And under the pot, you will see it embossed, stainless steel, boldly embossed. And normally they should write the nickel chromium ratio and it should be 1810. They didn't write it on this one, but if you go on their website, you, you will see more details on this pot. I went to their website and I saw that I made sure it's because uh, stainless steel has grades. There are grades of stainless steel, so you have to make sure that it's 1810 chromium ratio. Okay, this one they say acero inoxidable. This is Spanish. It exactly means stainless steel, and then the other drawings are just the kind of hubs you can use it for. And then this one, this one is a different brand, uh, it's at 12, they wrote the 1810, you see, 1810, this is the chromium to nickel ratio of the stainless steel, that is the best grade of stainless steel that you want to look out for. This one and this one are the same brand at 12, all these pots are not the same brand because I, I had to make sure that I buy the sizes of pots that I want. When buying pots, it's good to buy different sizes. The smallest pots for when you want to cook a small quantity of food and to warm food. The 5.4 liter one is a medium size pot and I find that it is the pot I use most when cooking for my family of four. I use that pot a lot. You also need to buy big pots for when you want to cook for a small party or when preparing a large quantity of say tomato stew or moi moi that I store in my freezer. The big pots come in very handy. I also like buying pots with plastic handles to avoid burning my fingers. Now, what you do before using your pot for the first time is very important. Before I use a new pot for the first time, I wash it thoroughly with warm water and a foam sponge and of course dishwashing liquid.
leave it on the sink to drain before it dries completely i wipe with a dry towel Then rub vegetable oil all over it on both the inside and the outside. What this oil does is to seal up the pores of the pot. <laughs> I don't know how to lubricate the pores of the pot, the very tiny invisible pores, such that when it stains like uh, by stain, I mean like food stains, when palm oil touches the pot, when it burns, yeah, whatever happens to the pot, it's very easy to wash it off. If you don't do this the first time, over time, you may not notice the impact on your pot, but over time, you'll find that the pot has either changed color, become brown or something like that, or become reddish, like from palm oil or food stains. Yeah, you don't want that. So try as much as possible to do this ritual before you use your pot for the first time. Then use the pot to cook its first meal like that you only need to do this the first time you use the pot subsequent times no need the best practice is to use the right size of burner for the diameter of your pot for this small pot this smallest burner is the best size for it using this big burner for this small pot is a no-no because the flames going up the sides of the pot will ruin your pot and if the handles of your pot are plastic they will melt with time use a bigger pot on the burner instead if you follow this simple rule of the right size of burner for the right size of pot your pot will last for years and your pot will thank you for that when you burn your food, instead of scraping and scraping inside of your pot with a spoon or iron sponge, pour water and bring it to a boil. When that water cools down, you will be able to remove the burnt part even with your fingers. Then wash with a foam sponge. I have a separate video where I explain the process in detail. This process will keep your pot shining for years. The thing is that what iron sponge does, the damage iron sponge does to the inside of your pot is that it gives it these tiny lines. Of course, you may see in my older pots, you will still see some iron sponge lines or something, you know, for severe cases of burning where there's no other solution than to use an iron sponge. But you find that over the years, uh, you can count the number of times I've used iron sponge inside my pot, especially and these lines increase future burning as well so it causes it's a cycle of damage you burn the pot you use iron sponge it creates lines creates small area for burning more room for burning and you repeat the process and before you know it the, the pot will even start leaking <laughs> so yeah minimize the use first minimize the burning of your pots yeah watch your pots closely when you're cooking don't go on facebook or instagram or even on youtube when you're cooking and um, when you do burn your pots do not scrape them unless you have to don't scrape the pots those are what i do to ensure that my original stainless steel pots last for a long long time i bought these two t4 pots in 2002 making them 16 years old i bought these two bigger ones around 2008 so they are 10 years old but they still look like new and that's it i hope that with this video i've been able to answer all your questions about the best pots to use when cooking nigerian food and how i take care of my pots if i didn't feel free to let me know in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer the question if it's something that i know of Bye-bye, see you!